In this screencast I will show you how to get items to Zotero and how to get PDFs attached to those items and renamed. There are different ways of getting items to Zotero and different ways of getting PDFs. Before we go into the different ways, let's take a look at some useful preferences. So when you open the Zotero preferences here, then on the general tab there are four checkboxes and I recommend that you have all these four boxes checked. So the idea of the first box is that if you want to cite a web site then, or web page, then uh, Zotero will save a copy of the page for your future reference because websites can change so you get a, a snapshot of that page when you uh, store it. Then automatically attach PDFs. That's, uh, you should have that because then you don't need to uh, do manual work. Automatically retrieve metadata for PDFs. This uh, feature automatically recognizes PDF files that you drop into Zotero and creates items for those files. I'll explain the difference between a file and an item in, in a minute. And then automatically rename attachments files using parent metadata. This is a useful setting because it makes the file names inside Zotero a, a lot nicer. I'll demonstrate that too. But just uh, check, make sure that these four boxes are checked. So let's assume that you have found an interesting article and uh, you want to store it in your Zotero database. So how do you do it? The easiest way to save things in Zotero is to click on this icon here or this button here by your browser's address bar. So when we click on that, that button, it reads the data on this website, it creates an item and then it attaches the file from that website to that item. So item is the thing that you cite and then the uh, attachment is the actual PDF file. So this is the easiest way and it says Sage PDF full text but if we open this file here we can see that it's actually named the author's names here and the name of the title of the article or parts of it. So that's a uh, nicely named file for you and that's the easiest way. There are other ways of getting the same item to Zotero. Of course you can do here file and uh, or pl this plus sign and then you can choose journal article and then just type the article data but that's a bit tedious to do. Another way is that if you have an article that you have for example printed then you can just use this DOI number so that stands for digital object identifier and we can use the magic wand here and copy paste the DOI it takes ISBNs other identifiers as well and we, we give the identifier then Zotero will automatically retrieve the item for us based on the identifier and also it gives us the, uh, the PDF. This PDF is called submitted version here but if you look at the file name it's actually nice, named nicely. Yet another way if you have a PDF let's assume that we download this PDF here so let's download it on the computer and uh, it's called this has this technical some kind of identifier number. We don't really like to have uh, the uh, files named like that. We want them to be named nicely. So, so how do we rename this file using Zotero and how do we get the file to Zotero? Well there are two ways. One is you can just drag and drop the item to Zotero and uh, because we had the automatic metadata retrieval turned on, Zotero will scan through the article and it applies uh, some heuristics and it'll identify that this article is act this PDF actually corresponds to this article. And uh, we have here the, uh, the file, it's named nicely. So it renames the file. Another way if we want to have if we have an item here that for some reason is not attached to an item, let's say that we have uh, the PDF here would be attached to the file to an item, but it would not be named nicely. We can right click and choose rename file from parent metadata. So that renames the file according to uh, whatever is the parent item. And we can uh, move these PDFs outside from the actual items or back into the items and 
like, like so. So if we have a, a PDF that is not associated with any item, Zotero can also automatically retrieve the data for that item for us. So we, we right click on that item and uh, we choose retrieve metadata for PDF. And now Zotero will go through uh, the file, it'll look for the DOI identifier, some other identifiers, or it, it takes some terms and uses Google Scholar to identify what article that PDF is ab about. We choose retrieve metadata and Zotero correctly identified that this was the uh, article by Rollhaus. So you have uh, a couple of different ways. You have first the, uh, the button here. So if we just have this article page, page then uh, we'll save a PDF. If we have this website web page with data about the article, we can just import the article directly or you can use the DOI number or you can drag and drop the PDF to Zotero and Zotero will automatically recognize which article that file is about and rename the file. So these are the ways of, of getting the data to, to Zotero. An important thing that you need to remember is that uh, you should have an, an item and then have all the files nested in these items and then it just works. If you have the, uh, the files separated like that, then uh, there is no data attached to this file and then you can't cite that file properly.